आई ऑलवेज वंडर हाउ गांधी बिकेम गांधी और महात्मा इट्स इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ बिकमिंग दैट आई एम मोर क्यूरियस अबाउट दैन द रिजल्ट एंड टूडेज एपिसोड वी सी द बेसिक फाउंडेशन दैट वॉज लेड फॉर गांधी पब्लिक वर्क लिविंग इन प्रिटोरिया स्टेट्यून Living in Pretoria Gandhi started going to the court for Dada Abdullah's case and it was not a small case it was worth around 40000 pounds in 1880s and in today's world it's worth about 5 million i just googled it as of october 21st 2020 coming back to this the money was the stakes were high at this in this case and uh, the main issue was with uh, taking care of the notes that is promissory notes and all the intricacies of the accounts and bookkeeping and gandhi had to spend a lot of time learning these intricacies and uh, facts and the uh, discrepancies in order to be able to have a strong position in the court and he was trusted by dada abdullah gave full uh, responsibility and trust in gandhi and that gave him confidence as well to have the ability to learn and um, able to speak in the court for um, on behalf of Ra- Ra- dada abdullah although the case had very strong facts um, which was in favor of uh, dada abdullah Gandhi thought that the justice was against him and a um, few of the key people helped him and one person told Gandhi that facts are three fourth of the law or the fight in the court and Gandhi realizes that facts are nothing but truth and when you have truth ready law will automatically follow that this point i wanted to reflect on facts are truth in today's world we have so much so much fake news everywhere and it's now very hard to discriminate between uh, the true real news and the fake news and it's easy to have that reality in the fakeness so isn't it much more deeper today to have the facts that is the truth and to pull it out even harder than what it was before or is it just we have just evolved to be where we are today with the technology it just hits my sense of conscience when this point was i was reading and um, if you are listening i would encourage you to pause and think about this about the fakeness that happens whatever we hear how do we know that is true whatever we hear on the media whatever we read on tv whatever we get in the so whatsapp groups how do we know that is true do we ever ask ourselves can this be true is this a fact we use the term fact today more than truth they are both same 
ultimately. Think about that and we'll continue Gandhi's story. So as they start going to the court and argue, start arguing, the arguments continue and the dates keep pushing for judging. And therefore Gandhi comes up with an idea that um, if they set, do a settlement, this will be ending quickly. Otherwise it might go on forever and for many, many years, this case. So Gandhi suggested that... Um, the opponent type state can bring bring the arbitrator to have a conversation between both parties and they agree to do that and they finally it was hard to convince him very very much much harder to convince him but um, he agrees finally and he was able to have a conversation through arbitration and they agree for to pay 37,000 pounds which is probably around three and a half million pounds in today's doll, um, money and uh, also that was a lot of money to pay at once because they would go bankrupt therefore they also convinced them to pay in mod in uh, installments so Type said pays installed money for many many years so that he does not go bankrupt either and this brings a lot of joy in Gandhi and he says that this is how he learned the real law practice law true practice of law and finding out the better side of human nature and ends with saying it is by entering men's hearts which I thought is beautiful really really beautiful so the next 20 years he spent as a lawyer he worked more on bringing people together compromising making compromises private compromises on hundreds of cases and that gave him more joy not the money nothing else but bringing people together with that we'll end this segment and continue another time bye bye